guys, Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I'm going to be doing my three week postpartum update and also three weeks old update for Colby. She's currently sleeping right now, um, but when she wakes up, I'll show her in the video at the end. Colby is actually three and a half weeks today or a little more. She'll actually be four weeks old tomorrow. So I kind of filmed this video a little bit late, although my last two videos I filmed a little after she turned one week, a little after she turned two weeks. And technically she's going to be one month old on Friday. So this is kind of pre one month update, but I will do a postpartum and one month old update after she has her checkup, which is next Monday. Um, but so far, as far as myself, I'm feeling great. No more pain. I'm kind of like back into the groove. Um, I don't feel restricted, although I still have cabin fever because I've only been out of the house four times in the past three plus weeks. And it's been super cold only until now, so it, I didn't really mind it too much. She's waking up. And here she is. She woke up. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Yeah, so um what was mommy saying? Can't remember. Yeah, so I feel like I'm pretty much back to normal aside from the cabin fever. Also I'm not as super emotional as I was when I got home, although sometimes I do get a little bit emotional here and there. But I just can't believe how much this girl has grown. She's so big now. I don't know how much she weighs, but um, I'm still exclusively breastfeeding. I just started pumping this week. Um, I want to build a little bit of a supply so that I can um, have that breast milk stored away for her whenever she needs to have a bottle given by somebody else. Otherwise, mommy will never be able to leave her <laughs> when I go back um, to work part-time and then also I need some dental major dental work and I won't be able to have that done either if I can't leave her and she, if she doesn't have milk and I can't leave my boobies so you gotta leave the booby milk um other than that we're kind of like in our groove with you know feedings and and night schedules she wakes up maybe um two to three times during the night maybe three Two to three, it depends, but she sleeps on decent stretches, although sometimes it might take her a while to get into deep sleep. Um, so that's only the difficult part when I'm trying to get her down into a deep sleep. Right? Um, other than that, it's getting warmer now, and uh, I want to start taking her for walks outside. We sat on the stairs outside earlier today, um, because she needs her vitamin D and she probably wants to eat right now. Okay, so she wanted to feed. Right, Bubba's? So, yeah, other than that, um, as far as my postpartum, it's not really anything much newer to report on, so I probably won't be, you know, continuing like a postpartum update after one month I'm not sure really how this works but um, you know other than that I feel great I, I just I'm nervous and have anxiety about um, if she'll take the bottle well I haven't tested that out yet I just wanted to try her pump first um, but I will be testing that out this week with her and you know hopefully that goes well and yeah, that's the only thing that I'm a little anxious about because in order for me to go back to my regular routine, um, she needs to be able to take the bottles. So. The other big thing was that we were really sick last week and she got sick like right before she turned three weeks old. That That is what I wanted to update you guys with. So she got her first cold and uh, that's when I got emotional because I never had any of my kids get sick that early. Although the doctor did warn me and say, you know, that there's a chance she'll, you know, get sick sooner than your other kids because now that my three are in school, um, they're exposed and then therefore she get, she would gets exposed. But at the same time, she said it's good because it'll build up her immunity faster, which makes sense because when I had my three, they were three under three, we were home, they weren't in school, we didn't really go anywhere. And... 
when they did start school, when the girls started school, I remember them being sick all the time, especially Emmeline. And then they would have to build up their immunity. So by the time Dylan started school this year, he got sick a couple of times, but it's not as much as the other um, two when they started school. So maybe by the time she starts school, um, she barely will get sick because, you know, her immunity will be built up. But it was the most saddest thing because of her breathing because she was so congested. We were doing the humidifier, the suction, the saline, um, the steamy bath steam in the bathroom um, and and continuing to nurse her as much as possible so she's too little to have any um, medication but we did take her to the doctor the doctor said our lungs were clear because that was my concern and just to keep doing what we were doing and it might take a little longer for her to get rid of the cold to fully get rid of it but she's okay so I feel like she's slowly getting better her congestion is getting loosened but she still has congestion and is coughing a tiny bit like she's trying to cough out the phlegm that's in her throat other than that i'm feeling much better the other kids are feeling better two of my other three got sick luckily my husband was okay but i got sick um and thankfully me and her didn't get a fever so other than that that is our three week update it's very boring nothing much different than the last time other than that we got sick and i will be updating you on her one month cannot believe she's turning one month it went way too fast it's already going too fast so thanks so much guys for supporting my entire pregnancy journey and now post pregnancy journey i hope you guys will continue to watch our vlogs as well as um, these updates and we'll see you in the next video. And Colby wants to say goodbye too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Me and Colby are back and she just woke up from a nap. We're gonna do our two post two week. Ooh, ooh. We're gonna do our post two week, um, two weeks old and two weeks postpartum update. Um, before she wants to start nursing, but here's Colby. I don't know how much she weighs right now um, But we did go to the doctor uh, a week after uh, she was born